It started in the world's most famous arena and ended in downtown Brooklyn. For the LIU Brooklyn men's basketball team, it wasn't just about the chance to call themselves the Battle of Brooklyn champions for another year. We knew that uh, they were second place uh, coming in and knock off the first, and even though in the third, they're still trying to knock us off. So we knew we knew we couldn't sacrifice anything. We couldn't, we couldn't put anything uh, past them. So we knew we had to come out and fight hard. And fight hard they did. Juniors Jamal Lazaware and Julian Boyd both put up double doubles at Madison Square Garden, while sophomore Jason Brickman added 13 points along with eight assists in the 86 77 win. It, I was concerned a little bit because this was such a big game um, for both teams that we didn't really need that extra distraction of being the first time in the garden. But uh, obviously, it's very special and to come out of here and say that you've not only played in the garden, but you won in the garden. I think that's pretty special. At home at the Wellness Center, Elazware scored a career high 32 points to earn MVP, while Boyd added another double double. On top of that, Brickman tied his career high record for assists with 12, and junior CJ Garner had 15 points and four assists to come out on top of an 81 78 nail biter. It showed poise and character and some mental toughness to pull this out. I mean, it, it didn't look real good, but there wasn't one kid in our huddle that wasn't like, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, and that's a credit to these guys and the experiences that they've had over the, over the past two years. Since last year's Northeast Conference Championship and first NCAA tournament berth since 1997, one thing remains the same within Ferry, confidence in his players. Jamal had a really good week of practice this week, too. You could see his focus uh, was there. Not that, I thought we really had a good week of practice as a team. You know, Jamal really just stepped up. I mean, he made some really, really big plays. I mean, both our forwards, these two guys sitting here, you know, just huge. And that's, that's what makes us different in this conference. When you have two guys like this, it's a tough matchup. I think we have the most depth in the front court of anybody in our league. Um, I think I choose to play the guards because I want to keep those guys on the floor so much because I think they're spectacular. <coughs> so, uh, you know, it, it's more that than it is, you know, not having the ability to go somewhere. And both Ferry and his players are happy to know that the fans have confidence in them as well. I mean, it was it was a good, good, good crowd, I feel. I mean, I heard our fans more than theirs, so, I mean, that was a good thing for, for us, but that's something that we can't really play into as, as a player. You just have to go out and, and no matter if there's a crowd of 20,000 people or two people, I mean, you have to play the game the same, the same way. So yeah, I thought that was a, a great college basketball game. You see these college players just making plays all over the place. I thought that was... That was fantastic. I think the fans got their money's worth. So once the game ended at Madison Square Garden, all we talked about was the Battle of Brooklyn, about how it's going to be crazy. It's always a crazy game. They're always this way. The first game, might, someone might win by 20, but the, the Battle of Brooklyn game is always tight.